Hey guys, Fizz here, and um, today we're going to be taking a first look at the new weapon in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the M1 Irons. Now, a lot of people thought this was going to be a pistol. It is not a pistol. It is not even a secondary at all. It's a primary. It's in the specials category, same as the MGL or the Riot Shield. But uh, it's actually quite strong for what it is. Uh, it, it's a two to three shot kill, dropping off to three to distance. Uh, it's got some pretty good range, though. I don't know the exact, um, I don't know the exact you know, uh, range ranges on it, but it, it doesn't feel bad. Like, I, I feel like I can still get two-shot kills at a pretty good distance. Uh, you'll see me getting quite a few from long range in this in this uh, gameplay here. But, it, you know, it's pretty strong. It, it actually shoots really fast. I don't think there's any delay, really, between shooting. It doesn't feel like there is, even though it is a single-action revolver where you have to hit the clock the hammer back every time, like the Magnum from Ghosts. Um, but it doesn't feel like there's any delay. Like I, I feel like I can pull the trigger as many times as I want, and I will fire a round. Um, it, it's it's nice. Uh, I so I'm so, I'm stumbling over my words here, but it's just because I'm trying to think of stuff to say about this gun. It's it's weird. It is really weird. It is an old school revolver in a game that takes place in 2064, and that's just it's just weird. But it's not a bad gun if it was a secondary. If it was a secondary, it would be the best secondary in the game, hands down. That's actually what I think they should do. I think they should just nerf it a little bit, make it not as strong, and then make it a pistol. Like, that that, um, that, that would be pretty good, because right now, if it were a pistol, it would be overpowered as crap. Um, but it, it's not a good primary weapon. Like I, it, You have to use overkill if you want to take this as a secondary, which is fine. But if you're not using overkill, then there's no reason to use this gun at all. Like, seriously, the BAL, the ASM1, you, you'd have to choose this over those weapons, and I don't see that happening ever. I would rather use an MK14 or an EPM3 over this gun, to be frank. Just because they have more ammo, more shots per, uh, more shots in your magazine, and, I mean, honestly, this does pretty much the same damage as an MK14 anyways. Um, but that's enough about the, about the, about the bad stuff about this gun. Um... The good stuff is that it's um, new. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the only good thing. Um, like I said, if it were a secondary, it would still be the best secondary in the game. So I think they should just nerf it a little bit and make it a secondary. As for how I use it, um, how it's best used, if you're going to use it as a secondary, just slap on overkill and put it on secondary. Or, if you want to be a little bit smarter and have a little bit more fun while doing it, simply slap on a Kimbo and this thing becomes a monster. Does anybody remember the 44 Magnums Akimbo from Modern Warfare 2? Remember how awesome those are with Steady Aim? This is, I, I would say, just slightly better than that, although much stronger, like, damage-wise. So, I mean, you got super tight hipfire spread, which this gun already has anyways, see, I told you I'd mention it again. And then, on top of the awesome damage, you can basically, basically just two-shot people for days and it's actually really effective this way. I was getting tons of kills, both online and off, and it, it was just, it was a blast. So I highly recommend, if you're going to use this gun, use it with Akimbo, and not with, uh, not. You know, just, if you're going to use this gun, use it Akimbo, because it's not as good without it. And there's actually a variant of this gun that comes with Akimbo as a included attachment, and so if you ever get that variant, um, I th use it, keep it. Uh, it's uh, it, it's gonna be awesome because this gun, uh, the best way to use this gun is with a Kimbo, and I stand by that wholeheartedly. It's it's really really good this way. So um, you know, uh, overall though, I'm not really impressed with this gun. I think Sledgehammer needs to make lots of tweaks to make it a viable source, you know, a viable gun to use in game. And honestly, I really think making it a primary weapon was one of the stupidest things they could have done. So um, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what. Uh, how you feel about the M1 irons, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay classy, guys.